All right, now that we are done with the sketches, I'm going to go ahead and go uh, over it with a white color pencil. If you have a light color, it's like oranges, just like this, just like this one, you may just use black color, black pencil, and it will stand out because the color is lighter. But because I chose purple, I'm going to go ahead and go back over with a white color pencil. I'm going to focus on the whitest area to be darker, and darkest area, light with white color. So let's go ahead and get started. Because your watercolor paper is very rough, it is very rough uh, in texture, you definitely wanna keep a pencil sharpener around to sharpen your pencil. because it's going to dull out very quickly. <laughs> okay. I feel like I can also go back over with the black afterward to show how to contrast this light areas. Of course, I'm sure your teachers will give you their recommendation depending on the photo that you chose. Once you start sketching, you are going to really appreciate the white lines against dark. I'm sure you are going to appreciate the dark colors against light colors. All right, let's go back over it with the black in certain areas. I think it's really needed. So I'm going to go ahead and go back over it with the black. Oh yeah, I really like that color contrast. And remember when I said, go ahead and keep your lines live, what did I mean by that? It means to keep certain areas really dark and certain areas really light. And how do you determine which area should be dark versus which area should be light? That will depend on the value surrounding it. If you find a value to be darker surrounding that color, you definitely decide, want to decide on the darker values. So under the list pretty thick, I'm going to go ahead and put in some information right there. All right, I'm going to work on this section. And I'm going to keep in mind of the value, dark value. And I'm going to go ahead and outline both left and right eyes. It should be pretty quick. And I know you're tempted to shade the pupils. I guess it would depend on the type of drawings that you have. So ask your teacher if you think you will benefit from shading in the value on the pupil or not. And we can definitely give you advice accordingly. And I'm almost done here. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I definitely like the white versus dark. And I think we're going to call it done.